everyone says I love you. The cop on the corner and the burglar too. Preacher in the pulpit and the man in the pew says I love you. How many know what movie that was from? Horse Feathers, right. This is true. If the duck came down, Did we could you... give that man something. No, but I'd eat the duck if I had it. I haven't eaten in some time. You know, I've always wanted to be a, in a picture with Groucho, and I never... The closest I've made it is playing his mother in a musical. How does he feel about you being his mother? How do you feel about me being your mother? Well, I haven't felt you in some time. <laughs> I Let me... <laughs> you know, I once made a, favor, a famous remark. I said... A man is as old as the women he feels. <laughs> that, well, if it, if it wasn't famous then, it is now. Yeah. Uh -huh. we, the boys have to, uh, have to go. It's a intellectual yeah. for that crowd out there. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. No, I but I would, because you're here every night and I'm not. I can escape by tomorrow. Would you like, would you like to meet the young men who play your brothers Me? and yourself? I only like to meet the, about three of them who are talented. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, a wonderful, wonderful introduction for them. There is one that plays me that is so much better than I ever was in the movies <laughs> that I was embarrassed when I watched the show last night and saw this fellow. I said, why the hell wasn't I that good? Really? This is true. Why don't you tell him that to his face? He's coming out now. And I so don't know the whether others. he'll turn that in that direction. Well, we'll take a chance. Here are Louis J. Stadlin, Daniel Fortas, Irwin Pearl, Alvin Kupperman, and Gary Rusher, who are the Marx Brothers on Broadway. Looking crowd as I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do we you... have a book with a picture of the real Marx Brothers? That we had one. I don't. Gee, I don't know. Maybe we. They look... We don't have it right now, but no. we. Look they're... at the garbage can. You may. <laughs> Which of you is uh, is Groucho, so to speak? This one. Yeah, you're Louis Stead. You're shame yourself. You're too good to suit me. <laughs> you're very Never watch the show again. <laughs> how did you? Uh, how, was it a little nervous making to be playing a, a legend and to know you were going to do this part? It was uh, very nerve wracking last night. Uh, I think that it was one of the most uh, <laughs> disconcerting well, evenings. <laughs> <out there>. <laughs> <laughs> did you all knew that Groucho was there last night, though? Did you? That yeah, yes, the audience nice. gave him a, a, an no, ovation in the middle of the first act. We knew we weren't that good. No. <laughs> they thought I was him. Everybody was preparing me. Uh, yeah. Different people were saying, well, you know, Groucho could have mixed feelings about this. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> when he did come back at the end of the show, we asked him how he liked the show, and he said that I, I, f I, I loved it because it's, not, it's a very unusual evening in which... It was uh, for me. <laughs> yes. Where you take... Uh, I paid for the seats. <laughs> That's scandalous. <laughs> you, uh, you start off uh, with young children and they progress, so by the end of the show, uh, you're left with four degenerates. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Lois plays Groucho, Danny Fortas plays Harpo, mm -hmm. or Adolph, you know, that, his name is really Julius. His name Julie. is. That and he plays that. Julie. And, uh, Julius Henry. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, you guess who he is? I would say Chico. Irwin, that Irwin Pearl. Must be Chico. He has that same yeah. corrupt look that Chico has. <laughs> That's what all the girls tell me. They think, <laughs> they think yes, that they I'm... Yes, they told him that, too. <laughs> Was he Chico did more the... business with the chorus in our shows than the other four brothers together. <laughs> <laughs> and Alvin Kupperman plays Zeppo, and mm -hmm. Guy Rauscher... Plays, he's, he's, uh, plays uh, Gummo. Gummo went straight, didn't he? He was a black sheep. He got married. He didn't cheat. Wasn't that... <laughs> Wasn't Gummo was the age? <laughs> you can be a black sheep and cheat. <laughs> I don't see any connection between those two. Well, no, no Chico was the one that had all the girls. I wonder I, what I was. Know, but, yeah, I was sort of which brother was which, and um, Chico was the. Uh, we called him Chico. It's a derivation of chicken. That's chicken. where his name comes. You mean like Chasing a girl? The chicks. Chasing the chicks, yes. Oh. In, in England, they call them... Uh, birds. Birds, no. yes. Yeah. It's the same yeah. equivalent. Yeah. Except uh -huh. there's 3,000 miles difference, and it's very difficult to get to one of them. 
<laughs> when uh, Lucille Ball was here come, some weeks back, uh, we were talking about the fact that she made a movie with you. We did home, room service yeah. together. Yeah. And she said you, you were always taking your clothes off, you brothers. Only at night if we had a girl. <laughs> no, she no said you did it as a joke. Clothes off if there's no women around. This, may, this could be true. Yeah, there's Mr. five boys there. I wouldn't take my clothes off. <laughs> Glad to hear Except that. the one guy's got my coat on. <laughs> You know, uh, no, this is true. This is true. It is true. It, it, well, I'll tell you what happened. I had a very close friend who was getting married. This, I don't know if you, any of you people are familiar with Keene's Keen's Shop House. It's on Broadway, I don't know, in the 30s or 40s. And they gave him a bachelor party when we were playing on our first Broadway show called I'll Say She Is. And we were invited to the wedding, and obviously we had to give a performance. And we weren't through with the show till around 11 o'clock. So uh, Harpo and I, who were close friends of the groom, had decided then to go to Keene's Chop House and surprise everybody there, which we proceeded to do. We got in the elevator, which was a tiny elevator in that building, and they have no uh, elevator boy around. You get in the elevator and you run it yourself. So Harpo and I got in the elevator, and we each had a suitcase and straw hats. This was in the summer. And when we got in the elevator, we locked it. And we took off all our clothes and we put them in these two respective suitcases. <laughs> now the bachelor party was on the fourth floor. <laughs> when we got to the fourth floor, we stopped the elevator and swung the door open. And we stepped out there, stock naked, with straw hats in the suitcases. <laughs> Unfortunately, we were on the wrong floor. <laughs> Because the bride was giving a party for her husband. <laughs> and they were on the third floor. We grabbed a couple of tablecloths up the table and wrapped them around us, and we escaped with our lives. But I noticed the next day they hadn't been married yet, and the bride proposed to me. Oh, come on now. We have, we have, we have a station break. We'll be right back. That is better than you. The Dick Cabot Show with Groucho Marx and Shelley Winters will continue following station identification. David Houston guests on The Lawrence Welk Show tomorrow night on ABC.